Welcome back to Life With Us TV. It's your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, in today's video, we're going to give you our top 25 tips that every first time Virgin Voyager cruiser should know. Listen, are you about to go on your first Virgin Voyages cruise? In this video, we're going to give you the top tips and tricks and some of the things that's going to make your life yeah, a whole my, lot easier yeah. going upon your first Virgin Voyages cruise. We might have a couple of bonuses at the end. Y'all just going to have to stay tuned and wait for it. You ready for it? Let's go. Tip number nine, and this is going to really <laughs> come into play for us that are like carnival cruisers. Like yeah. we're used to that cruise line really like introducing the fun and really do, being the icebreaker for you being with the people that you're going to be with for five, seven days, however long right. you're on the sailing. We recommend because this cruise line really allows you to just be and there is no introduction that makes you turn to your neighbor like yeah. they would at church or get to know everyone or except like on, for on a cruise ryan rose yeah or <laughs> you know except for when you're like in competitions together and stuff like that other than that everybody is really like minding their own business in their own space right go and start to mingle with people go mm. where they are like if people are gathered around the hot tub Perch yourself over there. Yep. If they're hanging out by the pool, you know, just go in there and just small talk, have a conversation. If you're an introvert like we are, sometimes that can be a little like, <gasps> yeah, but, but it works. But it works. Like yeah. just a little small talk. Like I was looking at something on my phone laughing and I peeked at the girl beside me kind of was like, was she laughing at? And so I just showed her. She was from um, Canada. Yeah. It was a little bit of a like, uh, but fun is fun. Yeah. And we got together. We had a good old time. Yeah, that's how we was able to connect with people. We connected with people going down to the pool. Yeah. And yeah, that's how we was able Excursions. to meet. Excursions. Yeah, so that's how we met the other couple. And then we met... Mm -hmm. um, the puzzle. We met Jules and them. Um, doing at, doom buggies. Doing the doom buggy. So, yeah. Make yourself available to make connections. Yeah. Tip number 10, y'all. Um, Lynette already kind of alluded to a little bit. I'm sorry. Every single day, they're going to send you a survey in real time so you can let them know exactly how they are servicing you and are you satisfied. Right. So that way if they're not, they can course correct to make sure that your trip is that much enjoyable. So please participate in those surveys. It's gonna come as a notification on your phone. It's like a three minute long Yeah, it's survey. like, yeah, you do it real quick to let them know, which I think is excellent. I get to tell you how I feel in real, real time. And they course and, correct in real time. In real time So too. if you tell them that something isn't right, you might see a pop-up that happens on your phone to chat, not with customer service on land, customer service that's on the ship with you. Right. What's going on? How can I fix this? Because yeah. usually you don't get a feedback survey until you leave your trip. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying you're wrong for that, <laughs> right. but I'm like, what are we right, doing now? Uh, right. And then you got to wait 30 days. <laughs> so participate in that survey. Highly recommend. It. Highly. Tip number 11. And this is more of a mental preparedness that yeah, we man. need y'all to do. Yeah. This cruise line don't tell you Nathan. Nathan. When I say they don't tell you Nathan, I mean nothing. Let's go ahead for the people in the back that don't understand. <laughs> what we mean by that is other cruise lines, when they're getting ready to sail away, there's a big announcement. There is a big hoopla about it. When it's time to get off in port, you've reached your destination. There's an announcement made uh, telling you we've yeah. reached here. You're back on board. Time is this. This ship is totally silent right. of announcements. <laughs> right. And we're talking about speaker, loudspeaker announcements. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> you don't know when you pull off until you feel it. Yep. <laughs> you don't know when you're docked until you look outside. Yep. When you pull off from a port, I'm like, how we know if we left That's somebody? Not, right. Like, yeah. there is nothing telling you. I loved it because it made you become an adult about your vacation. Like, there's yeah. nobody spoon feeding you information. There's no one telling you, okay, it's time for you to come down to the gangway and get off in Bimini. No. Your app yeah. told you that yeah. we here. Yeah. It, it's it, it time was, to get off. <laughs> it, it was a little bit of a culture shock getting off a of carnival, though, because that's what you used to. So, I'm, yeah. like, I'm like, is they going to tell us anything? No. And then the app said, bzz, bzz. you can look get at, off. And look at nobody and say, you can get off at X time and be back at X time. I was like, oh. You get on the elevator, the elevator is, is lit up and it and tells you. the same you, thing. Yep. Okay, you need to be back on. You can grab a towel or two. Yeah. <laughs> and you going on about your business. Like, it makes you a real adult. adult. It's like being in the airport. 
Right. Like, nobody's going to tell you, hey, uh, yo, Lynette, your flight about to leave, <laughs> y'all. Nah, no. uh-uh. They just going to leave. They just going to leave, yep. That's how it is. The only announcement we heard the entire time is that they had some kind of smoke issue in one yeah. of the restaurants. <laughs> And the captain came on and said, we need such and such team down in restaurant. And I got spooked out because if, if yeah. you're on the loudspeaker, it must be bad. Because y'all ain't said nothing in the last past two days. We ain't been, seen you no officers. We you been solid. It's been <laughs> solid on this bad boy. Yeah. But after a while, it became like, oh, okay, I get it. This is dope. But yeah, countable people, it's gonna be a culture shock for you. Now. Yeah. But that's why we like study that app. And, and look at it yeah. off. Ton. But yes. I will say what it does is it eliminates crowding. Yeah. Because you don't have someone say, oh, yeah, it's time to get on board. And everybody, no, people just What's leave. What's with that music? It's me. <laughs> you know how, when it, you know how like football? Yeah. Yeah. That's how it is. It's like. Sound effects not included. Oh, they're included. Because you're going to need them on this ship because you ain't going to get them. <laughs> <laughs> they solid right but you, now. That's a good point you made that, yeah, getting off at ports made us, you just walk you out off. and hey, walk, walk right off. Way. You ain't sitting and waiting in no long line to get off because they made an announcement. Yeah. 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 That was dope. So it made you flow. Yeah. Getting off the same way. Yep. Tip number 12 for the first time Virgin Voyages Cruiser is we recommend on embarkation day mm. to really walk around and study the ship. We make mention of a little bit in our review that things are somewhat hidden, especially like the restaurants. You go one way uh -huh. and it's tucked around this corner or it's tucked around that corner. And then you go back Yeah, there. so we highly recommend you not trying to find Gumbe when it's time to go to Gumbe. We highly recommend not trying to find Sleep Alone when it's time to go to sleep alone because you're gonna be all over the place. Where you find that? And you late. Matter of fact, on the first day we was late to uh to, to pick a guy to pick a guy bay because we were trying to figure out where pick a guy bay was. Because you have pick a guy bay was tucked in like round where like a guest services. Yeah, this way where guest services. So you is. walk right. in and you're like, this right. is guest services, and they're like, no, just keep going. Keep on going. And you're just like, and go through the what? lights. <laughs> yeah. And go through the lights. I'm thinking I'm going to a club. <laughs> like, yeah. So yeah. So we highly recommend. And we say that in, even in our carnival videos, the study of ship, but this one? You really have to Because walk there's in. no ship map. It, you can't look at the wall and, it's, and it says you're here. Mm -hmm. No, it's just gonna say X on X floor, X on this floor, X on that floor. So you know you're and, on the floor. And then you start walking, you're gonna start seeing arrows. Everything is arrows. And someone's gonna be pointing like this, and you'd be <laughs> like, well, well, which way do I go? <laughs> so, so we about to fork of the road. Yeah, it, it's so, a lot. So yeah, walk around. I'd rather for you to be frustrated on day one than be frustrated on day two, three, four, five, or six, or any other day you're sailing mm -hmm. with. And then keep in mind, like we're a person that like I study ships. This is kind of my thing. This ship is way bigger in person than you can ever imagine it being. Right, it is. <clears throat> I thought it was like your carnival magics or anything like that. Mm -mm. Mm. This ship is massive. Huge. Like, I'm not trying to compare it to, like, your Royal Caribbean's Wonder of the Sea. Ain't no way. Yeah, no, Nowhere no, no, near no, no, that. No, no, no. I'm not even sure because I haven't seen the Mardi Gras in person. But it's very comparable to, like, the Prima and things like Those ships are huge. Huge. Ours is, that ship was just as big. And you don't realize it until you're on board. Yup. Tip number 13. This is something that happens. And this can happen for you two ways. If you are prepared to pay for your cruise in full at the time of booking. Yes. You have a three-hour window to take advantage of a 10% discount. Yeah, my. Let, let's just go ahead and say that real slow. You can get 10% off the price if you pay it in full. This is the two ways that you could pay that baby off in full. You know, go ahead and reach on in that checking account, savers account, pull that on out of there. Yeah, Do my. it that way. But you also, if credit allows, you have uplift. Yep. You can go ahead and do the uplift financing. Most of the time they always advertise that you can do it for no percentage 
um, APR, all and that good zero stuff. Zero down. No, zero down. Yep. And you just pay it back to yourself or just take it from your checking account, pay it back off, save the 10 per cent. Yeah. It is amazing. Yeah, it is. <laughs> when you look at that saving and it's <clears throat> like, oh, I just saved like another three, three four, four hundred dollars. Yeah. Yeah. It's totally, totally something worth exploring. Yep. And remember, it has to be done within three hours. Within three hours. Of and you, you have to do it at least, it's either 120 days or 180 days prior to sailing. So yeah. if you're doing a last minute cruise, it's not gonna work for it's you. It's not gonna work, right. But yeah, do that, plan ahead, save you 10%. Tip number 14 for the first time Virgin Voyages Cruiser mm -hmm. is on debarkation day. Listen at me good. <laughs> I'm telling you, and the app on the ship is gonna tell you too, that debarkation starts, well, supposed to be over around like 1045. Mm -hmm. But however, the closer you wait until like 1045, the rush starts to get greater. So the app is gonna come and tell you that, hey, if you wanna get off the ship and it to be smooth, you gonna wanna leave earlier. Mm -hmm. So if you wanna beat the rush, go before 1045. We got on the ship probably around about, around about 9, 930. Mm -hmm. And there was people out there, but it was still smooth. We felt like the longest time that we spent was at the guy at customs. Because he was asking us about our experience on the ship. So we was over there talking to him for about five or 10 minutes. And I was like, and I was like, you got like a line back there, sir. But I was like, you custom, so I ain't fit. I ain't fit, no, <laughs> right. Like I said, I ain't about to argue with you. Right. So what happened was the attendant that was behind, I don't know if you saw it, they sent the next person. That's why I started one. Well, that's why I walked. They sent the next person like, like you, you ain't standing here and fitting to talk to them about anything that ain't pertaining to them <laughs> as far as customs wise. We ain't talking we, we talk about how you, we don't, I don't care. Next. Next. <laughs> that's how that worked. I appreciated the conversation yeah. though because he wanted it from our perspective. Right. Because he was like, when they get off of this ship, it'd be like, Boy, we had a time, <laughs> but you don't know what that time was. So we had a time like, nah, it's not like yeah. what you think. It's a party though. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. the time that they probably hate. Yep. <laughs> it's a party though. But going along with what my husband said, the day prior to getting off the ship, the app, like we told you. Yes. Look at the app, read it. It's going to say, hey, you're getting off tomorrow. Sarah to see you go. Go ahead and select what time yes. you want to get off. Yes. So you get to choose what time you want to step off the ship. And then when you select it the next day, it'll start to give you little reminders. Oh, go ahead and get breakfast because you have an hour and a half before you get off. Yep. Very cool. And then also, just like with Carnival, they do have the where you can leave your bags out. Mm -hmm. And they come and get them and they take them down. When you go down to get, to, um, get off the ship, you go with a little section and get your bag. Then go through customs. So it, that part was it's very much the same. Very much the same. Yeah. But we took all our stuff off. Yeah. Tip number 15. If you yeah, my... if you book one of these cruises on Virgin Voyages, you're probably like, okay, you're talking about the reservations for dinner and shore excursions. When can I book these? Listen, I know because even being a travel agent, I love to experience things on the other end because I like to see how does it work? Like, when are you going to tell me I have to do these things? 45 days. If you're not booked in a suite yeah. or anything like that, 45 days prior to your sailing is when you can hop on the app, do your reservations for dining and your shore excursions. Yes. If you're in a suite, you can do it 60, 60 days. days prior to your sailing. So those that are in suites have priority over everyone mm -hmm. that's on the ship. So if you get on there on the 45th day and you're like, wait a minute, all the good excursions are gone, blame the rock star people, they got them. <laughs> but I didn't have that problem, nah. right? I didn't book my excursions until probably like 15 days before we sailed. And right. we had one of the most popular ones and it was fine. So I'm not telling you to wait, but just don't panic. Make sure yeah. that when you get the notification that it's time for you to get on and do your reservations, do it then. Yes. All right, tip number 16 
is the queen already told you that you must arrive at your appropriate check-in time oh, because yeah. they will not let you in. But also we wanted to let you know if you are in a rock star suite, there are actually a whole new different entrance for you. You get to walk right on past people who ain't <laughs> and be able to get your VIP treatment. So that's it's like having goal entry. <laughs> right. And when you over the line and you see that, you be like, darn man, I wish I had that's a VIP stat. Yeah, the suite. Yeah. So, but you know, you gotta have sweet money though. So <laughs> yeah, she. So yeah, if you got the rock star suite, be sure to go down to the VIP interest and not the regular check-in interest exactly tip number 17 i've heard this time and time again what are the benefits of booking one of the suites on virgin voyages their suites are broken up into two different categories you have rock star suites yep then you have mega rock star suites so depending on which ones that you book depends on which category you fall into right i'm gonna give you the benefits <laughs> of the mega and the regular rock star. I'm gonna look down because I can't remember this all yeah. the time of my head. Whenever someone asks me, I'm like, copy, paste. Yeah. These are your benefits because I cannot remember it. Just know that if you book any of the suites, you blanket it across the board, you will get VIP entrance yep. going to the ship. You will also get access to Richard's rooftop terrace. Like it's, it's just an, nice over there too, It's an exclusive area that only the yeah. rock star suites can go into. Yeah. And they also have like their private sail away parties, different stuff like that. It's nice, but it's so secluded from everybody. Like right. I like to be around people when I'm on vacation, but it's but a good little perk. I want to go over there. Yeah, but it's a good little perk, <laughs> especially if you just want to be up on the decks. Right. You ain't got to fight with chairs and none of that stuff. Right. Because they have plenty. All right, the benefits <clears throat> of the mega rock stars quarters. I'm going to read them to you. VIP interest. I talked about that. Priority booking. We yeah. talked about that. So 60 days prior, you can do your reservations for dinner and your excursions. We talked about that. You have 24 seven access to your own rock star agent, yeah. which basically means if you're used to going to all inclusive resorts, sometimes you'll have a concierge or a butler service that's all around the times of night. That's what they have there. Of course, I talked about the access to the richest rooftop lounge. They have a pre-dinner cocktail hour every day. So yeah. every day you have your own cocktail hour where you can go and yeah, get free flowing drinks. They have a <laughs> daily bar tab of alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages up to $25 per drink. Yes. Then you have an allotment of two bottles of wine per day up to $90, $90. Yeah. per bottle. Right. You also <clears throat> have premium Wi-Fi. Yeah. See, you get free Wi-Fi on the ship, which is good Wi-Fi. Don't anyway, get Anyway, yeah, that's good, yeah. You have the premium yeah, Wi-Fi into the price of your cruise fare. You also have transportation. So you have, we saw that they had blacked out SUVs as their private transfer yeah, services when we were at port. I can't guarantee you that's what it's going to be. But also you have free valet parking. So they will park your vehicle across the street in their own private parking garage right. for free when you in the mega Rockstar quarters. Yeah, my Rockstar quarters, which means that you're in those cabins that are like the seriously, the brilliance. I'm not going to name them all because yeah. at the top of my head, I don't know them. But you know what you book. Also, with the Mega Rockstar Suites, you also get a in-room bar as yes. well. And they replenish it. Now, let's talk about the other Rockstar quarters, which is just a regular Rockstar. You get all of that, except there are some differences. Yeah. You don't get the transfer services included yeah. in that. You don't get the daily bar tab. tab. With the bar in your room, they don't come and replenish it. So what you can do, this is what I heard, <laughs> is on day one, if there is some kind of liquor or anything in there that you don't drink, Tell them to take that out, replace it with what you do drink. Yep. I've heard that they have to get an exception to that because, of course, they probably bring you like a rum, a gin, a tequila, you know, to mix it up. If you want to take all of that out and you have one type of liquor, yep. they do have to have an ex get an exception for it, but I heard it works. So do that. Other than that, you have the same benefits. Yep. All right, if you have enjoyed this video, you will want to check out this video next when we did the review of the Scarlet Lady. Mm -hmm. And we're going to see you in the next video. Peace. Peace.